<clears throat> when your father goes out thrifting and finds a bag full of Hasbro figures. But what's in here? There's got to be loads of good stuff in here. Oh, like they wanted £1.50 each, but my dad just offered them £50 for the bag. So, that's what we get. We get a Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. No wings. And these are clearly broke. Quite a bit of wear on them. Rah. Okay, then. There's going to be loads here, so I'm going to have to blitz through these. We get a... And nails. It seems to be in good shape. Got still got his number intact. Can't don't zoom in very well. Move still works. Nails. We have a dirty British bulldog. Move works with a little bit of clicking to go up. We have a fairly clean Shawn Michaels. A little bit, a little bit dirty. Moose still works. Glasses and still black. We have a hmm, a Sergeant Slaughter with one of his arms is loose, the other one works. Other than that, oh, he's on the three. He's a bit dirty, as you can see. Should clean up okay. Mm. Someone's coloured his legs in. In fact, I think this date might actually be pen. Should still clean up. We have a model Rick Martel uh, with a non-working move. He's quite dirty. Bit of paint rub on his head. We have an Andre the Giant. Working move. A little bit of paint rub. Yeah. All right. Tatanka. Work moves. Move works. In pretty good shape. We have a Roddy Roddy Piper who's a little bit yellowed. His punch it seems to click without going all all the way. It'll slightly do his punch. Yeah. We have a worn boost about beefcake. Which these jumpers, unless they actually break in half, the moves nearly always wear. Um Macho Man Randy Savage, number one. We have ooh. Move still works, nice condition. We have a Marty Gennetti. Really clean Marty Gennetti. With a... I never understood this move anyway. Is he supposed to jump or what? I never understood it. We have a Honky Tonk Man who suffered this darkening to his upper torso. Other than that, he's really clean. Um, Kona Crush, who's got a working move. It's a little bit loose, but works. He's got quite a bit of paint rub to his Crush logo on his chest. We have a... Oh, what the fucking hell? By the way, it's the first time going through this bag. We have a Macho Man, Randy Savage. Not Macho King, Macho Man. With a working move. A lot of fucking pen on him. He might clean, he might clean up. Greg the Hammer Valentine with a... Working move. A little bit loose, but alright. His hammer on his back is a little bit worn. We have Bam Bam Bigel. Oh. With a dirt, dirty head. His head always felt like it was going to be dirty because it felt really, really rubbery, like sticky rubby. And um, we have a, a typhoon, which is the same body as that Bam Bam Bigelow. But he's kind of cleanish, but is is typhoon that always just rubs off? You very rarely see used typhoons that have got the typhoon still written on them. We have a hawk of the Legion of Doom. Ah, oh, I was really really impressed then until I saw his right arm. His left arm's clean. Still got all of his spikes, all of his spikes on his side, on his back and front, but his his right arm's missing his main spike and. Two off the back. Oh, and one off the front as well. That's a shame. It's really hard to find these second hand with the spikes still intact. We have a Macho King Randy Savage. 
no clown scepter. Mm, might be in the bag, you never know. It's got a working move. Bit dirty. What's up? Earthquake. Oh. This move works, but it, it doesn't have any give once it gets to the top. Um, his earthquake is mostly rubbed off him. His tattoo is still intact. We have a, mm, another hawk of the Legion of Doom. With, wow, full spikes, but some paint. Who the fuck? Some of these painted gloves on him. And give him an extra... That's a H. <laughs> Somebody's put a H on his head. They either don't know he's Hawk or they just want to play extra with him. I don't know. That might come off. What else do we have? We have El Matador Tito Santana, who's pretty, pretty clean. Hmm. What else do we have? Oh, um, we have a, a Galoob, Tom Zenk, with a bit of. You always see this rubbing on the Galoob glasses. Rah. We have oh Scotty Steiner, and as of right now, this might be the maybe the pick of the punch so pick of the bunch so far. Maybe Andre or Bam Bam, but he's got a working move. He's got eyeballs. Seems alright. We have a. It wouldn't be a wrestling figure collection without a at least one Texas tornado. Oh, wow. He doesn't have a working move. That's rare. Apart from that, he's really clean. Well, a bit of, he's been coal mining, but apart from that. We have a Undertaker with a lot of rub on his hands. Move works. He's quite dirty. We have, oh, we have a, a Rick Steiner. Oh, we have a Scott Steiner. Now we've got a Rick Steiner. He seems to work. Bit dirty. We have a ravishing Rick Rude. Now, oh, oh, fucking hell, just noticed he doesn't even have a hand. He has been in a saw trap. Jigsaw got to him. I put him aside because he is actually broken. We have a Jerry Sags of the Nasty Boys. His move works. He's very, 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 very loose. Those move works. Cool. I like. I love the nasty boys figures. They look so cool. Oh, another honky tonk one. Is this me first? Oh no, I had a, a double of thing as well. Doing my hawk of the Legion of Doom. But, oh, he's really tight. He's got no paint. Paint wear. Bit of coal mining there, but that's about it. A tiny bit of rub on the bottom of his shoes, but he's a really clean honky tonk man. That's quite cool. So, the second honky tonk man. Now. I have. Oh, oh, wow. Cool. Marty Gennetti. Wow, he's in really nice shape. Really nice shape. That Wow, that's the pick of the bunch so far. Yeah, man. We have a. Jimmy, super flask, knocker, he's still got his fingers, yep. He's still got his, he's, he's really clean actually, it's a really clean super fly, yeah. And over there you go. We have a, another Davy Boy Smith, the bishop, but this one's, wow, this one's clean with a tight, a tight move, man. Oh, I say tight. Oh, it's so tight, it doesn't want to go down on its own, you have to give it a little extra. That's fucking tight, that. That hurts your fucking knuckle, that when it hits you. We have a Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I don't think I've ever owned a Hacksaw Jim Duggan whose move works, except in the original one, when I originally got it, and it broke. And then it broke. Oh, wow, his move works, man. His move works. Yeah, man, that's really nice. I like that. What's next? We have a... Oh, wow, another Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So this is the second one, but this one's clean. Wow, that's clean. The tiniest of rub on to his metal at the front. Wow, that's that's really nice. That that that's probably gonna replace my one in my collection. In fact, the Marty Gennetti will probably replace mine as well. What else we got? Ooh, Raddy Roddy Piper, and this one's a lot cleaner than my first one. So we're starting to find doubles now in this set. At one pound fifty piece, but fifty quid for the lot. I'm already in a fucking dreamland here, man. What else? I don't know. Another Tom Zank. Wow. This one actually has a belt as well. The WCW Championship belt. It's 
terrible I built. But at least it was unique. This one seems to be in much better condition than the last one. This this guy doesn't seem to have any real paint wear on him. So yeah, that's cool. We have oh Jacob the Snake of Roberts. So, yeah. Oh, nice work and move. A little bit of rub on his on his feet. But he's in really nice condition. Rah, rah, snake. We have another Ravishing Rick Rude and a look let's see. Uh, Ravishing Rick Rude. I high five I can't high five you. I have no arm. Well I have an arm, I just don't have a hand. Yeah, yeah. Forty two years old playing with wrestling figures here. Oh by the way, I didn't even check. Does this this doesn't really matter, but does this little problem that exists in these wrestling figures in this video? And this ravishing record doesn't seem to have it, which is weird. This one has a tiny, tiny little no, it's not tiny, it's actually quite big. Do you see it there? That crack. That crack, that's that's fucking cancer to these figures, that crack. We have Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. So we have a full Rockers tag team. A little bit of wear on his feet by the looks of it. His arms. No, he's a little bit looser, falls down on him, but he's in really good shape. All fingers intact. And just a sexy boy. We have. Oh, yeah. The Bushwhackers. Now, I've really, really come to like the Bushwhackers of late. It's just, this is the look of the Bushwhackers, this one. Because Luke's got one tooth. We have, oh, wow. <laughs> we have two of them. Yeah. We have bushwhackers, but the same one. The actually both in really good condition considering because the bushwhackers were never usually in good condition. I've, you always see them and the the backs of the sing the singlet tops are just worn down, man. We have oh, oh that's cool. We have a Yoko Zuna. He's the first release. He's got some paint wear onto his onto his toes, but he's in really nice shape considering. Nice Yoko Zuna sit on all of them bastards over there. Another Bruce the Bob beef cake, and this one's in quite a bit better condition than the last one. He's still got a bit of paint wear on his fingers. But yeah, in good condition. We have a ooh, million dollar man to DiBiase part three with a working move. Looks like his dollar sim symbol's gone off the side of his his kex. And I'm pretty sure he had dollar symbols on the side of his boots as well. Has somebody just painted over them or have they worn off? How could you wear them off? Fully. Ah, uh, Oh well, we have oh <laughs> we have a a smash with a broken neck. He's not really got a broken neck. It's just turned all the way around. I this was probably my favorite figure when I was a kid. I was a big demolition fanboy. He's in nice condition. A little bit of wear on his feet. A tiny bit on his um his back where his ringlet meets his straps. But he's in good condition. His move works. We have another ravishing Rick Rude. Jesus, ravishing Rick Rude. Rah. Let's have a look, see what's going on here. Oh, it's clean. No damage up there, man. That, wow, if you look at his feet. His feet are immaculate. That that might be one of the best Ravishing Recruits I've seen. Yeah, man. That might actually replace my one in my collection. I'll keep him aside, definitely. Oh, wow. Another Shawn Michaels, but this one's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. He is he is basically brand new. Wow, I like it. I'm not going to put him back in that bag in, in between the wrestlers because he's in too good a condition to be buried down there. We have an earthquake whose move is non existent. He's in really, really used condition. He's been loved. What do we have? We have a ooh, Papa Shango with a move. Yes, man. Yes, man. I've, I haven't even been counting how many are in here. But Papa Shango, he's... He's got a bit of paint wear on him. Oh. 
fucking knobs are the nasty boys with a nice move. He's in. He's been coal mining by the looks of it, but he's in good condition. He's in pretty good condition. We have another Davy Boy Smith. And this one's got a tight move, but loads of wear on his forehead. Looks like he went down the wacky warehouse slide forehead first. What have we got? Ooh, we got a macho, just a, a, a Randy Savage. He doesn't have anything written on him. Oh, he doesn't have a reverse punch, but he has his clothesline. He's, wow, fucking hell, he's, he, he barely even has knee pads now. They are flesh-coloured knee pads. We have another Papa Shingo. Whoa, that's mental. With a, a move that works. He seems to work okay. Papa Shango. Cool, Papa Shango. We have, ooh, Hulk Hogan number two. Ah. I, I hated this figure when I was a kid because you couldn't do anything with it. It was like the Texas Tornado figure. It was pointless. Oh, well. It looks good to stand there, but... It was pointless, and he never ever released another figure. The the, the the posing bear hug thing we have. Ooh, look at that! Pretty nice condition. Um, uh, berserker. I nearly called him the barbarian. Then he's in nice condition. He's got a little bit of wear on his horns, but oh, and he's got his original um tunic. I think yeah, it's a tunic. Yeah, he's in nice condition. So that's, that's a find, because you usually don't see Berserkers with the tunic still intact. Ooh, Ultimate Warrior 1. He's in fairly decent condition. A little bit of paint wear on his, the front of his hair, on his feet, on his toes. And he goes, ah, oh, he fell. But his, his move works. Let's see. Go with the rest of the boys, you. We have a... Oh, okay, we have an animal from the Legion of Doom with paint on him. So this is obviously that other... Um, um, Hawks tag team partner, isn't it? Paint there, yeah. He's got paint on his, on his head. I think that's supposed to be an A, isn't it? So whoever, whoever this belonged to decided he wants to put a H on the hawk and an A on the animal. If I'm right, his face paint is supposed to be yellow, isn't it, on the figure? So the face paint is being gone over with green. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know if that will clean up very well, but... I'm going to try, because fuck, his spikes are all intact, man. His spikes are all intact. He's in nice condition. We have another Undertaker. This one's quite a bit cleaner than that other one. I say that. I don't know how he's got paint wear where he's got it there on the... You must be in backhanding somebody. I backhand you, Paul Bear. I backhand you good. Um, his webs, his mooster webs. Okay, we have a big boss. Oh, big boss man with his nightstick. But that's quite cool. I will hit you with my nightstick. Nah, nah. El Chupa Hombre. He's He's in pretty nice condition. You don't usually see him without loads. Like, he's got a bit of wear there, but you, most of the time you see this big boss man one, he, he has no fucking strap left. No fucking strap left. We have Animal from the Legion Zoom. Is this the second or the third one? This one has got... He's still got all the spikes as well. I... I very rarely find these things with spikes, but his move doesn't work, man. Move doesn't work. He's like, I move don't work. And yes, it is supposed to be yellow face paint with the spider. Although the spider only has fucking four legs. But what, whatever. Um, sex to turn it up. Does this one? Yeah, this one has a working, a working move. He's in nice condition. We have a Doink the Clown. With a, a working move. His hair still intact and fluffy or springy. All of his fingers. Oh, a bit of paint wet on his fingers. Tiny bit of paint wet on the bottom of his feet. It's all pretty good. 
we have a Greg the Hammer Valentine, another one. And this one's in a little bit better condition than the last one. The last one's in great condition, except his hammer on his on his bum was a little bit worn. This one, yeah, pretty good condition. Greg the Hammer. Oh, oh, a Samu of the Head Shrinkers. That's nice. He is in stellar condition. Now, really, the only things that can really go wrong with with this one is a bit of paint wear the other day. But he's in really nice condition. I like that. Samu. Oh, next house is a photo of the Hedgehog. And this one's this one's rare one. This might be the rarest one of the the whole collection I've just got. Yeah, quick look in the bag. Might be, yeah. Wow, that's cool. He's got no paint wear that I can see. No, he's in really nice condition. In fact, that, the, the Samu and Foxy might be in better condition than the ones I've got in my collection. So, oh, that'd be well worth it. Oh, another Jake the Snake Roberts. And this one is tight. Wow. That arm is tight. It stays there. That arm. Wow. I am super impressed with that Jake the Snake Roberts. Very minimum paint wear on his feet. You know, these are usually just green. Uh, what's next? The Rocket Owen Hart. Nice move. He's quite clean, considering. What else do we have? We have a... The, oh! The Mountie Jacques Rougeau with his original shock stick. That's quite cool. That cool. And this move still works. I, I should take his nice stick out with him, his shock stick out and do that, because that's how I lost. I got my Mountie figure when he first came out. Well, about 93 it was, so we were about to get behind in the UK. And um, I had his shock stick in his hand and went, bleh, and it went flying across the room, and I never saw it again. Day one. Just the first time I've had an official night. Um, ah, shot. Why do I keep calling it a night stick? First time I've had an official shock stick in all that time since I lost my business. That's cool. Wow, I would have, I would have happily paid £1.50 for the. I would have paid fucking 20 quid for an official shot shock stick. We have a, a Coco Beware. He's in fairly decent condition. I don't see a bird easily, readily in the bag. Cool, man. No real paint wear, no real paint wear. Happy as hell, happy as Harry. We have another Rocket Owen Hart, which... Doink, 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 doink. Wow, work. Work, nice, 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 nice. Nice, 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 nice. Better see that on his nose, he's been coal mining. We have... Uh, oh wow, this must be the typhoon to go with that second earthquake that I pulled out that was dirty because look at that. He doesn't even have a you can't even see a typhoon written on him. He's got paint wear all over his back. Doesn't have any eyebrows left. He's like me ex. Move doesn't work. We have a wow, that's clean. A clean warlord. Oh, there's a scuff on it. Um is Helmet or mask, whatever you call this. It's like a Phantom of the Opera mask, isn't it? Of some kind. But it, it's a little bit worn. Never quite understood what the Phantom of the Opera mask and all that was for, for the Warlord. I, th I thought he was cool when I was a kid, but when you look back at him, he really wasn't. <laughs> Two more figures left. Second to last one is a Hacksaw Jim Duggan with a Damaged move. Hair missing. Well, damaged and then paint on his feet missing. Also, last one out is going to be a very, very well used Brett the Hitman Heart. He is. Oh, his, his move still works. But he is worn down, man. In fact, his, his head isn't so bad considering. But his, he's got loads of wear on his arms and. His feet. Brett was a lot of people's favorite wrestler, so I'm assuming that most Brett Damon off figures got played with drastically. So the, yeah, that that's that's the bag empty. 
And my dad paid fifty pounds for that bag. He wanted one pound fifty each, but he just went, "I'll give you fifty quid." Well, in fact, he sent me a message saying, "Do you want any of these?" And I was like, "Buy the lot, buy the lot. I'll give you the, whatever it takes. I'll buy the lot." And um, he sent me a message back saying, "Oh, uh, I, I bought the bag for fifty quid. Are you happy with that?" I was like, "Yes, father. I am very happy with that. Thank you so much." Anyway, guys, I'm Gaz Cavalera. Thank you so much for watching this. I. I'm just really, really happy and impressed that I've got a really big collection of wrestling figures. Uh, quite a few of these are going to replace the ones I have in my own personal collection because most of my ones in my personal collection are from when I was a child. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share the video.